Way back in 2019, when Avatar first came out, fans adored it. It broke loads of records, and all of the years that James Cameron spent working on the movie were worth it. It was stunning, and the world was breathtaking. Soon after it started breaking records, Cameron decided that he would be making more. We're going to check out some theories about Avatar 3, more movies, and everything we know. First up, how did it all start? It all started when James Cameron started working on the first movie. He had loads of detail that he wanted to get in there. It came out and broke records for the most money made at the box office. People loved it at first. Then, after that, many came to the conclusion that Avatar might not have been as great as we all thought at first. It has kind of been a running joke ever since then, but that didn't stop Cameron. He was making more Avatar movies. He announced a sequel very shortly after the first movie came out. Then he lost the Oscar and seemed to lose steam a little bit. But soon after, he concluded that it wasn't the type of movie that the Academy celebrated anyway, and he was going full steam ahead for the sequel, and possibly several more after that. The first release date that Cameron was shooting for was December 2014, but obviously it took way longer than that. It took a long time to write everything. He wanted to write most of all four sequels before filming. It took up to 2017 before they started filming. The plan was to film movie 2 and 3 at the same time, and even a little piece of 4 too, and then later the rest of movie 4 and 5 together, meaning filming would take a while too. So when will we finally get movie 2? After all of the delays, the movies were finally filming and back on track. Then the little thing called the global pandemic hit. It was just another major delay on the road to finally getting the new films. They were at least filming in New Zealand, one of the best countries in the world when it came to how they handled the pandemic. They got back to filming relatively quickly compared to other productions, but it still delayed the release of the next film by a year. The final release date, hopefully, for Avatar 2 is now set for December 2022, and then the next few films will be released every second year after that, meaning that Avatar 3 will come out in 2024, and Avatar 4 will come out in 2026, and number 5 in 2028. Right now, number 5 seems to be the final movie, at least for now. It has taken a long time, but it seems like we will get more Avatar in the next few years than anyone would ever have imagined. How much of Avatar 3 is done? It sounds like most of Avatar 2 is already done, and the movie is ready to go. But since they filmed movie 2 and 3 at the same time, that means movie 3 is also almost completely done filming. They just had a few reshoots that they needed to film, and then all the filming was done. James Cameron did share that their major issue with movie 3 at this stage is that it is way too long. They still have loads of cutting that needs to be done on the film, but most of the capture is complete. There isn't a lot that fans need to worry about. They still have more than two years to get the film ready to be released at the cinema. Hopefully, that is plenty of time to get it down to a watchable length. James Cameron films have a habit of being pretty long in the first place. If he's the one saying that the movie is way too long right now, then we would have a big problem getting it watched in one sitting as it is. But he has the time to get the movie ready and perfect for audiences to enjoy. Why will film 3 be so important in the Avatar world? Since there will be five films in total, and right now all of them are kind of blending together when it comes to planning and filming, it is difficult to understand what could possibly make one movie more important than the rest of them. But the theory is that movie 3 will be the most important release of them all. It will be the one that determines if there is any hope for the films to have longevity and if the next two films have any hope of box office success. Movie 2 will be the first that comes out. It has been years, and there are loads of people questioning if there is even any point. Does anyone even care anymore? But even if many do like to make fun of the first Avatar, most of us are going to be curious how Cameron has taken the world forward and where he will go. Added to that, the nostalgia factor. Many people will be almost guaranteed to watch Avatar 2. But after that, all those factors will be gone. If people don't really care or enjoy 2, they won't be going to see 3. The numbers on Avatar 3 will be the best indication of how the rest of the franchise will do. Does James Cameron have another hit, or has he wasted a big chunk of his life on movies that no one wants to see? Did you love the first Avatar movie? Are you excited to see more of them? Let us know down in the comments section. We'd love to hear from you. Next up, we will check out why they filmed a piece of Avatar 4 at the same time as 3, theories about where 3 will be set, and a lot more. Stick with us to get all the details. Why did they have to film some of movie 4 at the same time as 2 and 3? It sounds like some of the delays were thanks to the fact that they had so much to film all at once. Why would they add even more scenes to the roster? It was all due to the children in the films. It sounds like movies 2 and 3 will take place not long after each other. Then movie 4 will start on the same timeline, but a while into the film, there will be a time jump that will be around 6 years. 
they needed the children to be the same age in the first part of the film, and then they will be able to age or change actors and film the rest of film 4 at a later date. Like I said, it sounds like they planned all of these films to be one big project. Will it all be worth it? This is the billion dollar question. Quite literally, the four Avatar sequels have a combined budget of one billion dollars. That is massive. The first movie made lots of money, and it was completely worth it, and that is why they are taking on this massive project to get all these films made. But the world has changed quite a bit since the first movie came out. It has even changed just in the time since they started filming. Big budget films are really created to be watched on a massive screen, but right now, cinemas aren't really as popular as they used to be. In fact, more people than ever prefer just renting these movies on a streaming service than watching them at home, and the pandemic has not helped to get people back into the theater. Will they be able to make enough money from these films to make the entire endeavor worth it? Only time will tell. Movies are all about exploring. One of the biggest theories we have right now is that Avatar 3 will go to another planet. Why? Because exploration has always been one of the biggest themes in Avatar. Exploring Pandora and finding all these interesting and stunning scenes was a major factor of what made Avatar as popular as it was in the first place. We know that film 2 will still take place on Pandora, but that we will see a whole other side of the planet. Most of it will take place in a sea community and take place in or around water. It will give them a whole other community and world to explore if they are still on the same planet. But they will have to continue that theme of exploration in film 3 to keep things fresh. And one way they can do that is by moving on to a whole new planet and opening us to a new world and very possibly a new alien race for us to get to know. It is going to be interesting to see just what Cameron has in store for us. Lastly, the names. We aren't sure what each film will be named yet, but we have heard preliminary names for each film. They were The Way of Water, The Seed Bearer, The Tolkien Rider, and finally, The Quest for Awa. They could very possibly still change these names, but they at least give us a little hint of what's coming. What are some of your theories for the next Avatar movies? Let us know in the comments section. Thanks for watching.